It's been a great week for Masters of the Universe finds because the other day I found Origins Snake Face and now I've got a whole new wave of Masterverse figures to show you guys today. That's right. It's not not one, not two, not even three. Oh, I'm falling. But four. We got four new. Get all in there. Four new Masters of the Universe, Masterverse figures to show you. This is Wave 9 on today's Deceptibot 9 Reviews. Let's get it. How's it going everyone? Deceptibot9 here and thank you as always for joining me here on the channel. Whether you're a new viewer or a returning viewer, welcome to this place where we talk all things action figures, Transformers, Masters of the Universe, McFarlane, Storm, any of that stuff. I love talking about action figures and especially talking about action figures with you guys. Before we get into the review, if you like what you see, go ahead and leave me a like. Plus, if you're new here and you want to stick around and see what I've got planned in the future, go ahead and subscribe as well. It does really truly mean a lot to me. Plus, if you want to find me anywhere else on the internet, you can find all my social links in the description down below. Alright, with all that said, out of the way, off the top, let's go ahead down to the review station and take a look at our four new Masters of the Universe Masterverse figures. All right, here is an overview of all four of our new Masterverse figures in their packages. We've got New Eternia Buzz Off, we've got Revelations Classic Armor Merman, New Eternia Faker, and Princess of Power Grizzlore. All figures that I am very, very excited about. If you saw my uh, ranking of the reveals, you know that all of these were pretty high on my list. I am super excited about every single one of these. This is overall like a super solid wave of figures with some new Eternia splashed in. We got Revelation. This is like encompassing what Masterverse should be and all these figures look great. I can't wait to get them out of their boxes. As you can see here obviously on the front all of the you know boxes typical Masterverse stuff. We'll look at the sides and stuff of each one here individually just so you can see beautiful work uh, of Buzz Off here on the side as well as on the back. Nice, beautiful artwork there with the new Eternia logo. And there's a little bio for Buzz Off if you want to see what new Eternia Buzz Off is about. And of course, on the other side, just says Buzz Off. Others, whoa. Merman here, again, nice. He's got the Netflix logo on it because he's from Revelation. Artwork here on the side, beautiful. Love the Merman artwork there. And on the back as well, it's really, really cool on the back. I love all the sea creatures kind of following him. There is the bio of him from Revelations as well. Oh, and of course, side just says Merman. Ocean Warlord. Faker here, we got the new Eternia logo. Faker there in the box. And on the side, we've got the beautiful Faker artwork. I love this one. He looks so, so menacing there. Cool. And the back, again, more super menacing, awesome Faker artwork. New Eternia logo up there. Ooh, we got a little... Got a little peek of, of somebody there. Oh, that's Skeletor. <laughs> Skeletor hiding in the background. And there is the Faker New Eternia bio, if you want to read that. And on the side is Faker, of course. Evil Robot, is that what it says? Yes, Evil Robot of Skeletor. And then, of course, our last guy here, Princess of Power Grizzlor. You see the Princess of Power logo. He's going to fit in so nicely with all those other Princess of Power characters. On the side, I'm loving the artwork of Grizzlor. It's probably my favorite. I love the way this looks and with his little weapon there, his claws overall. Really, really cool. And on the back, you can't deny that one as well. Looks just absolutely fantastic. We get a Horde logo up there. And of course, here is a bio for Grizzlor. And Grizzlor, Harry Henchman of the Evil Horde on the side. So... That's enough about packaging, I think. What do you say we go ahead and bust all of these guys out of their boxes and take a closer look at them? All right, and here is all of Masterverse Wave 9 free from their plastic prisons. And oh my gosh, guys, all of these figures are so, so good. They're so freaking cool. We're really hitting a good stride with Masterverse figures. All of these are just absolutely phenomenal sculpt level is great the the accessories they come with are all fantastic they pose really well each of these figures are just absolutely tremendous in their own right and i just wanted to get a nice big group shot of them here but let's go ahead and start taking a look at them individually really quick we'll start with merman all right here is a 360 look at classic merman and all of his accessories that he comes with. You can see he comes with uh, his traditional sword, he's got his armor piece, and he's got three sets of hands. So he's got a full set of closed fists, a full set of uh, open uh, attacky hands, I guess, and then the other set is uh, 
grippy hands. And we'll take a look at those all here in a minute. But first, let's take a quick look at the detail on Merman. All right, we'll come in first here with a look at that head sculpt. And yes, it is a classic looking Merman, obviously still in the Revelation style because this is just from the, you know, opening of the show where he is in his more classic suit. And of course, speaking of, there is the harness, which we love. It looks so, so nice. I love how it's kind of scaly and gross looking. It's really, really cool. He's got his little jewel in the middle. Of course, if you look underneath, that is just regular body. Uh, the main body itself is mainly just reused from the previous Revelation. Revelations Merman that we got, the one from Wave 4, um, but there is also a lot of new stuff going on. So like the body itself here is all the same, the arm detail up here is all the same. This piece, this gauntlet piece here is new, uh, it looks really, really nice. I love the spike coming off. The hands are reused as well, they're just done now in a gold, so you can see this is one of the open ones. The other side is one of the grippy ones, and then let me show you one of the fists. There it is, if it focuses. There it is. There is one of the fists, so you can see that. Of course, they all just swapped. Really easy. I'll show that off in a minute. Uh, down here to the belt, it's really nice with the sort of lighter blue and the little <laughs> merman-esque head there with the blue gem in the middle. This part is all reused right here from the other merman. Uh, the skirt is really nice here. I like it a lot because it's like a translucent uh, sort of orangey rather than a solid orange, so it kind of looks... Uh, you know, like it belongs in the water more. It's really cool. Of course, you can see here on the legs, all his muscle detail. Down here to the shins, we got new armor pieces down here and his reused feet. So, Merman is really, really solid. He is really cool overall. Um, if you're looking for a more classic looking uh, Merman, uh, we do not have a new Eternia one yet, but this is honestly pretty dang close. Obviously, the head looks different than I think most people would want it to, um, but I do not mind having this as a classic Merman on my shelf for the time being because I think he looks really, really solid overall, as you can see. Just a nice, you know, solid classic Merman. And of course, let's take a look at this sword really quick. This sword here is so nice. So much better than the one. I really liked the one that came with the other Revelations one, but this one is just spectacular. I love the way this one looks all around overall. So yeah, there's Merman. And like I said, of course, if you want to swap any of these hands out, you just pull them. It can be a little tricky sometimes. Uh, a lot of pulling on there and you can just swap the other one in there so if you want to give him fists you can do that if you want to give him two open hands two grabby hands he does only come with one weapon um, but you, you know you could repurpose any other weapon that you would like for merman so there he is all done up i'm going to show the articulation off here on merman but then i'll pass on it on faker and grizzler because it's exactly the same but buzz off has some differences let's go ahead and show the articulation off here then ah uh, head is on a ball joint it's really traditional standard masterverse it can swivel all the way around just like so kind of get him looking up that far looking down not fair not really far but you can go far arms do go all the way around although they get quite hindered by the um shoulder pads sometimes they go out that far they swivel at the bicep he's got of course the traditional masterverse double elbow joint there all of the hands have swivel and hinge right there as well he does have the upper ab cut as well to get him rocking and rolling around with that and i had to break that in really nice and swivel here at the waist as well legs go forward that far because they're blocked by the skirt back not really far at all because they're blocked by a skirt I have a feeling the skit splits game, oh, actually better than I thought it would be. The skirt kind of goes with it there, but not that far on the splits, but you can still get a decent range. Swivel here at the thigh, each of the, of course, double knees, and then swivel at the shin here where the armor is, and the feet do their little pivot and hinge game. So, yeah, Merman is, you know, just as poseable as you would expect from any Masterverse figure. No new surprises, nothing there, but he does look great and he is a lot of fun to mess around. So, comparison really quick, let me just show you with the other Revelations Merman. You can really see the similarities and differences there. Their skin color is a little bit different. The head is like the same mold, just with it one eye open rather than the pirate eye. This body doesn't have all the scratches on it. You can see the waist pieces are the same. Uh, the arms here, you can see that the differences are. You know, there's differences in the arm pieces. They're, you know, both different guards. <laughs> Hands are the same, just color differently. Legs down here on the shins. Of course, shins are different as well, but the feet are the same. So you can really see how these two look together. It's interesting, the uh, the skin color difference. I was not ready, ready for that. But 
I do like both of these mermen a whole lot. This one is really cool uh, as a, as a you know piratey version, but this one works very very well as a classic. Honestly, he kind of fits in with their non Revelations aesthetic just as well. All right, that'll about do it for Merman. So let's go ahead and move on to our next figure. We'll look at Grizzlor, and yeah, this guy rocks. He is so much fun. He is so cool. I love this Grizzlor. So here's your 360 look at Grizzlor, plus all of his accessories. He's got an open hand, a fist, the two grippy hands that are on him, his little uh, horde bow caster, and then, of course, his traditional horde axe. So he looks great all around. Let's go ahead and get a closer look on the details on Grizzlor. All right, coming in at the head sculpt here, I think it looks great. I am a big fan of the way this head sculpt looks. Very Sasquatch werewolfy. It re kind of reminds me of like the uh, prosthetics of the Wolfman from the original Wolfman movie, uh, which I love. So this is great. Uh, he's got the the little mouth fang detail there, some some crumply detail in his eyes, and then some molded hair detail all around the head, which I think looks great. And then of course we've got the big furry piece here to give him that hair illusion um and then the horde symbol here on the middle on the harness coming down and of course underneath it is the the body where he does have uh some of that hairy detail he is uh, a reuse of the stratos the new eternia stratos body mold i believe he's got that sort of bigger lanky proportions aesthetic to him oh his thing fell out oh well so you can really see the hair detail here on the arms this is the aesthetic all over the body with some little uh bands on the arms we got bands on the wrists here little wrist guards here is uh the hands he's got his little black fingernails all painted because he's a nice and birdie boy uh <laughs> he's got of course if you get the dang hair out of the way he's got a belt piece right there hairy loincloth right there as well plus he's got uh more fur detail here on the legs down to the feet with the little horde details here i love the horde symbol here in masterverse and just typical feet if we look at the the weapons here the axe is really really nice i like the way it's painted uh it's got some battle damage all over it and it's got the nice horde symbol of course in the middle and his little horde bow caster thing looks really nice here too i like it a lot it's sort of a cyclops lizard type creature there on the front and of course it's got the little energy beam there so really really nice this is mostly the same as hordex i think except for the headpiece being different uh otherwise it is exactly the same and the the bowcaster just slots on just like Hordax did, slots right onto the sort of wrist guard there, so he can just hang out right there on his wrist. And yeah, so Grizzlor is certainly packed with articulation or detail i mean he's packed with a lot of detail he looks really really solid and i do really like uh the extra fur accessory there you can remove it if you would like it's just uh you got to undo the straps and everything and pull that whole thing off i'm not a fan of how he looks without the big fur on though i much prefer having the the big fur on him because that's that's grizzlor you know he's a big furry menace creature so you might as well have the fur on him accessories as we saw he does just have uh some extra hands besides the weapons of course um he does have if you noticed a little sheath on the back so if you wanted to remove the axe from the hand and slide it into the sheath you certainly can do that just put that right in there on the back and then let's say you wanted to pull that hand out and give him his claw hand there and so he's got a claw on the other hand, or a clawed out hand on the other side. I wish he came with a second clawed out hand so that I could remove the bowcaster and just have double clawed out. But I think he looks great no matter what. And honestly, I kind of like the way this looks as well with the bowcaster out in the hand. I don't know. He's really cool. I am having a lot of fun with this Grizzlor. And um, I think if you're a fan of the Masterverse stuff, you are definitely going to want to make sure you get in on the Grizzlor. So let's see how he looks. I'm going to skip again. I'm going to skip articulation on him. Uh, it's exactly the same as the traditional stuff. And we just saw that on Merman. So we didn't need to see it again, but let's see some comparisons to other figures. All right. Here's our new Masterverse Grizzlor with the Mattel Creations exclusive Origins Grizzlor, who is probably one of my favorite Origins figures. Um, He's a lot of fun. I like this one a lot, but you can really see some design differences between the two. Obviously, they both have the fur, but the heads are done a little bit differently. The skin color is a little bit different. Obviously, this one is based more on his appearance in the Princess of Power show, and this one is 
more based on the original toy, I believe. So you can really see that there. But it's nice having uh, two Grizzlors. And if you didn't get this one, whether it was the initial release or the made to order, this Grizzlor is a mass retail. So you should be able to find him just fine. All right. That's going to wrap it up for the Grizzlor section of the video. So let's move on to our next figure, which is going to be New Eternia Faker. And this guy is amazing. I love, 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 love this Faker. I didn't think he was going to be my favorite of this set, but I'm just going to say it now. I think he might be. There's so much cool stuff going on here with Faker all around, and he's a huge improvement over the original Masterverse Faker that we got from Revelations, which we'll, of course, show that comparison off here in a little bit. But first, let's go ahead and take a look at the details on this Faker. All right, come in here on the head sculpt. This is a fantastic head sculpt. This might be the best He-Man head sculpt we have in Masterverse, and I kind of hope they retool it and reuse it a little bit on a regular He-Man one day um, because this is so, so cool. I love how there's nothing going on there in the eyes. They're just plain blank. Of course, he's got his hair that is like an orangey, kind of brownish color. Nice detail on it there as well. The chest guard is just a reuse of the one from Revelations, I believe. It looks pretty similar to me. I think it's exactly the same. Um, but it fits this so so well we got the nice pink with some little extra detail here on the crossbones the arms of course have all their muscle detail on them but they look a little more robotic i don't know if you can tell the lines are a little more harsh um, rather than a little flowy and sinewy like a regular human one uh, and he's got a little robotic nubbin up here these might be reused from one of the other revelations like, it might be from Triclops, these arms. Um, I would have to check. But still, I love the way that those look there. Uh, and he's, of course, got detail here. All the muscle and ab detail. He does have something under the chest armor, but we'll look at that here in a minute. Legs have the sort of muscle detail that we come to expect. Regular muscle detail. This is all just a regular uh, He-Man loincloth piece with the big belt and the, the loincloth. But I love the sort of purple-black fade aesthetic of that one going on there. Really, really nice color choice. And the blue skin tone, too also is really really solid this is a great looking figure just all around over there and come down to the boots he's got the fur these are just kind of the typical he-man boots that we've seen uh before so nothing crazy here but i do also just love this color palette scheme here the purple and the blacks so they work really really well for me and uh i do want to show off while they're here in the hands the weapons because these things are so so cool i love the way these look this sword here first of all super awesome i love that it has the sort of guard um that we see like on the original toy power sword that we don't have, really see that often in the masterverse it's usually just the handle but i love that it has the guard on it but if you look at the detail on the sword itself like it's it's got like scrap pieces like it's cobbled together like it's really interesting it's really really cool and the sort of paint detail that they put onto this sword looks really nice like the sort of red with the scratches and the fading it looks awesome and same thing here for the axe the axe is a nice orange color but again there's this piece right here that is all silver and it's got like little clips there like it's it's cobbled pieces together which is just really solid and of course all the little dents and scratches there and the harness on the back has a sheath so if you would like primarily for the sword um to go anywhere you can just slide that right into the back and he can just put that on his back and of course he does have alternate hands as we were seeing in the turnaround he's got a fist just a regular old fist and the traditional open hand so the traditional ones for masterverse and again you can just pop that all off we've seen that but i do want to show really quick here that the harness comes off just like any harness comes off in the masterverse figures it's just on this these weird like seat belt clip joints um joints they're not joints pop the head off pull the whole harness assembly off we'll pop the head back on and i wanted to show it off for faker and not for grizzlord because grizzlord didn't have anything special going on under there but faker if you take a look here he's got all of this going on on the chest and it's like indented it's not just printed on i don't know if you can tell it but there it is you can tell there see it's not just printed on the front it is actually molded into the chest and indented a little bit and it's got nice color and detail going on on the inside there and of course on the back he's got some robotic stuff as well so really really cool stuff It'll give you multiple ways 
to display your faker figure and uh, yeah like i just i didn't expect faker to be my favorite figure from this whole wave of figures uh honestly i was expecting it to be buzz off he was the one that looked uh the the best to me and we're going to talk about him in a minute he he certainly is great um but this faker just unexpectedly blew me away as well there's so much cool stuff going on with the figure i was already excited for the figure don't get me wrong but you know what i mean all right and of course articulation is all just regular masterverse articulation here nothing special on the faker um but yeah they're, i feel like they're getting better at it getting better at some of these cuts and letting them have a bigger range and stuff but it's all the same that we've been used to for the past uh like almost two years of masterverse now that's crazy to say all right let's see how he looks here with our first attempt at masterverse faker which wasn't bad but it's it's certainly not the faker that we all kind of know and love right and i kind of like the terminator aesthetic to him i like the way that the uh the skin is melting away i just wish it was more because he is just kind of he-man but with a little bit of robot bits i wish he was the sort of whole robot aesthetic which they did show in the show um but i do like that you know this version kind of looks like this so this one absolutely blows this faker out of the water all right enough of faker we've got one more figure to look at so let's go ahead and take a look at buzz off here is our look at new eternia buzz off and i was super super excited for him because i love the sort of like weird creature characters in the masters of the universe world uh like buzz off and clawful and all the horde characters so the fact that now we're getting buzz off and clawful uh whiplash all these crazy characters together is super super exciting in masterverse and buzz off here does not disappoint there's a lot of cool stuff going on with buzz off and you can see he does have all of his accessories here he comes with less accessories because he does not have swappable hands uh so his main accessories are his little uh helmet piece here and his axe so let's go ahead and take a look at the details on buzz off here ready all right so we'll come up first here at the head with his uh extra little b helmet on and i love the way this looks i love it because it doesn't look like it just a weird goofy hat like it actually kind of looks like like a battle armor or like an extension of his actual head which is really really nice if we pull it off here we can see that it is made as out of a clear yellow plastic and he's got like his little antenna there at the top of the little face shield things and his little extra eyes here which is really really nice i love 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 this helmet and i love the way it looks on his head and speaking of his head uh, this thing is awesome it's such a crazy look and it's so so cool i love the sort of line going through it like his mouth and his eyes here look great he's got little nostrils he's got a bunch of detail up here on the head as well and moving down to of course the chest he's got the sort of b aesthetic obviously yellow and black the arms have got nice molded detail on them as well some like scaly detail up here at the top with the traditional muscle but then some more like scale stuff here and of course he has his claws his claw hands instead of regular hands which are great he's got some nice molded detail in there as well some of the more that scale rocky texture um, and if you look closely, he does have a belly button, which is great. Uh, <laughs> he does have a new, I believe this is a new hip skirt piece. Uh, looks really, really cool. I sort of love the diamond aesthetic on it. And it's got some like actual skirts on the side with loincloth pieces there. And you can see, of course, he's got some spiky bits coming out of his legs along with the regular muscle detail. Same thing down here. And these pieces are reused from Zodak, I believe. We've seen these before, but they look nice, nice and brown. And he's got those really cool, weird looking buttons buzz off big old feet and of course we have to take a look at his wings yes his wings are here and they are clear and <laughs> they are yeah <laughs> that worked out kind of better than i thought it would anyway and he's got all this nice molded detail there in the wings which is really really great and of course you can see his only other accessory is his buzz off axe and it looks great i mean i think it looks really cool it sits in his hand uh or his claw just fine as long as the claw stays closed it is really only more so meant for this hand just because of the way the guard is but you could put it in that hand as well if you wanted to so 
Now, since he doesn't have any extra accessories besides that, what I do want to touch on here is articulation on Buzz Off. Now, for the most part, it is exactly the same as all of our other Masterverse figures. Heads on a ball joint, we've got the ab cut, arms go swivel. So, of course, they, they can kind of swivel all the way around uh, because, of course, there's the arms. They go out, they swivel here, they got double bicep. Here's where it gets a little bit different because he's got the claws, right? I'll show it on this one, the uh, empty one. So, they do swivel as well they swivel around there's no up and down hinge movement on it because there is a claw opening and closing hinge on it eh? eh yeah that's really cool i didn't i honestly didn't expect that out of it um i just expected them to be you know enough room to clip the weapon in or maybe something like that but yeah and then of course he's got swivel at the thigh legs are going forward and back and out and swiveling and they got their knee bends going on you can get them in flight poses swivel the feet uh, are on the same typical hinge here so they hinge at the foot here and they swivel around all that fun stuff the other thing is the wings. The wings are actually articulated as well. So these little ones are just on swivels. They swivel uh, all the way around like that. But the big ones here are on folds. You can fold them out, get them splayed out towards the back, which is really, really cool. But they are also on hinges as well. So if you just wanted to hinge all the wings down, you could get them all the way down, just like that. Have a nice standard neutral buzz off. Or, you know, you could flip the little ones up if you wanted. This is really up to you on how you want to display these. Uh, it's really, really solid. You can you know, display these wings out here. Mine is a little loose, which is sort of upsetting uh, because now I can't hold those poses, but I can just throw some some loose joint stuff in there to sort of tighten that up a little bit of, of polish or kikis. Uh, it will fix that up just fine. Uh, but like if you wanted to swivel them all the way out and get them all the way like kind of up and out, like you can do a whole big wing spread thing. And it's just so, so cool that they included a lot of that posable extra detail with the wings because it really helps add to how you're going to make your buzz off look on the shelf. And just for comparison, here is Origins Buzz Off with our new Eternia Buzz Off. And I loved the Origins Buzz Off. I know he was in uh, one of our big old Wave 7 peg warming days <laughs> of Origins, but I thought he was a great Origins figure. He's a lot of fun. But I am super, super excited to have him finally in Masterverse. I think the Masterverse version is just so much better. Um, but that's because I like Masterverse better than Origins. I know, I know, I know. But, <laughs> yeah, these guys look awesome together. Honestly, I see them fitting in pretty well. If you want to make a whole sort of buzz-off hive, uh, get a bunch of the Origins ones as kind of troop builders for the leader uh, with the Masterverse one. That would be kind of cool. All right, and we'll bring everybody back out here because that's going to do it for my closer look at Masters of the Universe, Masterverse Wave 9 figures. So let's go ahead and uh, they all do different things. Fly, buzz, swim, grizz, and fake your way back up to me for my final thoughts. All right, so my final thoughts on Masterverse Wave 9. Well, if you couldn't tell during the review of each of these figures down there. I think each one of these figures are absolutely spectacular and I'm going to hold to my guns and say that this is the best wave of Masterverse that we have gotten so far. Revelations Merman is great. He fits in very well as a classic, uh, you know, a regular classic Merman or on your Revelation shelf. Grizzlor, fantastic. I love the details of the body mold on him is great. He looks fantastic overall. Faker and Buzz Off here are just phenomenal as well faker really really simple but really really effective and it's great to get a traditional faker now and buzz off is really really fun i love these creature characters in motu it's probably why i like grizzlor so much too but yeah fantastic wave i picked them up at the mattel store in el segundo um and if you are able to get some if you are into masterverse go ahead and grab them uh and if you're not in the masterverse i think this might be the wave that will fully submerge you into the Masterverse deal because they're all spectacular. All right, guys, that's going to do it for my full look at the Masters of the Universe Masterverse Wave 9 figures. Go ahead and let me know down below what your thoughts on these figures are. Are you going to pick them up? Which ones are your favorites? All that fun stuff. Let's talk all things Masters of, Masters of the Universe Masterverse down below. And guys, as always, if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much. I do really, truly appreciate it. It means a lot to me. And as always, I've been your host, Deceptivon9. Thank you, as always, for joining me. And I'll see you guys later.